Bani Khar, Pakistan's Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, is now in Berlin to try and get the country out of the grey list. So what is this list and why does it matter that Pakistan is currently in it? The Financial Action Task Force or the FATF was formed in 1989 to keep a check on global money laundering. After the 9-11 attacks, the FATF started keeping a watch on terror financing as well. Pakistan was designated a jurisdiction under increased monitoring for the first time in the year 2008. This designation is informally known as the FATF Grey List. That's what we're talking about today. After its first inclusion in 2008, Pakistan has been in and out of this list multiple times. It was grey listed between 2008 and 2010, and then 2012 to 2015, and now 2018 onwards. It has always been hauled up for not doing enough to combat terror financing. So what happens when a country is put on this grey list? Technically, the FATF is not allowed to put sanctions on grey listed countries that are reserved. Now that right is reserved only for blacklisted ones. But being on the grey list warns any potential lenders that the country may use money that it is given to fund terror activity. Here's one direct impact or rather example of being on the grey list. A 2019 IMF loan worth six billion dollars emphasized the need for Pakistan to comply with the FATF's action. Experts have estimated that Pakistan's stint in the grey list between the years 2008 to 2019 have cost it about $38 billion. Pakistan is currently in the middle of an economic crisis. Getting out of the grey list would help with its financial troubles. The FATF made 27 demands of Pakistan in the year 2018 to remove it from its grey list. These included calls for Pakistan to take action against the leaders of terrorist organizations, it was after these demands that the terrorists such as Hafiz Saeed and Zakir Rahman Lakhvi are convicted and jailed for terror funding. The FATF imposed another seven conditions in 2019. Pakistan is yet to meet two of those demands. A joint working group of nations, including India, will take the decision to see if Pakistan has done enough.